ready Cause this ain't funny My name, fame is Ian I'm about to make money Hi everybody, it's me again, Amy from Missoula Mercantile and I had such a good weekend out there hitting the sales, being a sorceress, finding all kinds of great things for my eBay and Poshmark store. Uh, I was surprised actually how many yard sales were happening because it is, um, well today's October 23rd, so we are getting into the fall season and it's getting chilly out there, but we had a beautiful weekend and there were a ton of sales to hit. So I did pick out some of my top finds to share with you. Um, I guess we'll start right off the bat here. Um, this one is, a big old pile of eyeglasses. And you might think that eyeglasses are a strange thing to try to sell on eBay, but they actually, they do sell and I've had great success with it. Started with a pair that I had paid a whole bunch of money for and I couldn't get it refilled for whatever reason. But, um, so I said, well, I'm gonna put it on eBay and see what happens. And they sure did, they sold really quick. So this is now something that I look for. Uh, these are, I got two pairs of Brooks Brothers and they have their original cases, which always helps. Each pair of glasses that I got at this particular sale were only a dollar, so a dollar, um, a dollar each. The two Brooks Brothers pairs, um, I, I'm pretty sure I can probably get like twenty-five dollars each for those. I actually just sold a pair of Brooks Brothers last week that did not have their original case, and those went for twenty-six dollars. So I feel great about those with my dollar in. Uh, let's see, this one here, this pair is my prize winner. These are Oakley with their case. And, um, gosh, I forget what the, the name of the style was, but they say right inside the, um, the arm on there. So that is very helpful. And those are actually probably going to bring me 65 to $70. So this is the, the prize winning glasses for that, for that hunt. These are called Neo style. I don't have the original case for them, but they're so pretty. They are a tortoise shell around the rim and then like a, a gold wire on that, uh, Sorry, they're a gold wire frame. And those could probably get me $35. And then the last pair is a pair of silhouettes. You probably remember these. They're known for not having like a frame around them. It's just kind of a floating glass with a really flexible and lightweight uh, wire frame on those. And I can probably get $40 for the silhouettes. So keep your eye out for glasses. You just never know. And it's real easy to look them up. Um, usually they have all the information you need right inside the temple on the sides there. So keep an eye out for those now. You know I love a mystery box. So I picked up a mystery box this weekend and it is chock full. You can see here, I don't want to tip it any further than that. Uh, but what it is, is they, well, I, th I think, I mean, who knows what I'm gonna find underneath these. The lady, she didn't even know for sure what was in here. But kind of right on top, there were some little Japanese figurines. <laughs> She's funny. Uh, <laughs> like this one here is an apple. And it has a lid. I suppose there was a spoon that went in there at one time or another. And these are all just marked Japan. Not occupied Japan, just straight up Japan on those. So I will be doing a ton of research and having a lot of fun unwrapping all of these. Uh, what I did see when I was there, this guy was on top, this boxer dog. And he unfortunately lost his tail. So I'm really hoping that I didn't just buy a whole box of broken situations there. Uh, we will see and let me know if you would like to see maybe just another video update to let you know what I found in there. Uh, hopefully there's something really good. Uh, what I found with the comps on these, uh, they can go anywhere from like $7.50 for one of them and, or the most expensive single figure that has sold in the last 90 days went for $150 and it's this little horse and there might be a little horse in this box. So everybody keep your fingers crossed for me that I'm gonna find a uh, little horse in this box, because that would be really fun. <laughs> so the next one from the same sale, I did spy this uh, brand new in package. It's never been opened, so it's all sealed. Um, this is an RCA Kazoo MP3 player. And um, gosh, it was $2 and I looked, I was able to look it up really quickly there. And it looks like it recently just sold for 36. So it was kind of a no brainer. Things like this are easy to photograph, easy to store, and easy to ship. So I do like it when I can find something easy like that. And then at that same exact sale, uh, I was looking at their shelf of the tchotchka, and I saw two of these beautiful, it even has its, does have a wood stand there, so you can see it. Uh, and I thought, wow, those, are, those really might be something. Here's the mark on the bottom. It is in Chinese, so I'm not quite sure what it says. Uh, but these 
Oh, and look, the inside of them. It's blue, like a blue ceramic, and then these are all intricately carved. And so I was able to find out that these are, um, they're called cinnabar vases, and they have different scenes on them, and different scenes are worth different amounts of money. So I'm not quite sure um, where mine's gonna land in the spectrum here, but I got two of them for $10 total with their little stands, and it does, range uh, anywhere from $59 for some of them all the way up to $818 that one sold for. Um, so we're gonna have to figure out what this scene is. I mean, it's an older gentleman and he is strolling through a garden and there are mountains in the background, but I don't think that description is gonna really help me very much. So I'll be working on this. I will figure this out and I do hope that it is one of the more valuable so that would be exciting, it would. And I'm also not sure if I'm gonna sell them individually or together. They do have a slightly different pattern. Looks like they're um, two older gentlemen in the same area strolling through the same garden, but we'll see. I will keep you posted on those, but I am excited about that. It might be my best find of the day. We will see. The same lady, she also had a set of, as you know, if you know anything about Pyrex, these, the style is a, it's a Cinderella nesting bowl set. And usually they come with four bowls. And unfortunately, I only have three. Uh, she has the big one and then the, the medium blue and the small white one. So I'm missing the medium white bowl from this set, but it was only $10 for these. So I kind of figured maybe I'll give it a whirl. Um, I'm not usually super excited about Pyrex unless I can find some that are black or pink, which are the kind of the top most wanted ones. This one, um, the pattern is called Colonial Mist. Uh, recently, a set of three did sell for 90, so that would make me happy. Um, a big one on its own did sell for 36 recently, just two bowls for 37. Um, but if you have all four bowls, you can maybe get $180 for it. So keep that in mind when you do find some of these, look around. Because like we found two bowls in one side of the kitchen and the other one was over in the dining room. So look around, if you see one of them, the rest of the set might be there. And hopefully it is, so that would be great if you could find them all. The next thing we're going to talk about, <laughs> I had um, one of my husband's aunts, she's in town, and sweet auntie, she found this at a sale. She wanted to go with us. She wanted to have some fun at the sales. So she found this old, it's a milk bottle, and it is from a small dairy in Bingham Canyon, Utah. And this bottle is actually for creamed cottage cheese. Picture that inside this bottle. It's kind of gross. <laughs> in my mind, I mean, think about like cottage cheese coming out of the bottle. Yeah. So she found it, it was half off day at that sale. Um, so that made it $2 and 50 cents. And it looks like that I can probably get about $24 for it. Um, but I do wonder with it being for cream cheese instead of milk, maybe I can get a little more since that is a little strange. So uh, I will get this listed and we'll do a little more research on that one to see, see what we can do. Now, switching gears, we went to a different sale that um, this house was completely packed with Christmas ornaments. And I'm talking, there was probably a thousand ornaments in each room of the house. So it was overwhelming. I kept spot checking, nothing was really worth anything. So I was discouraged. Um, but then in the basement, they had a trove of vintage toys. And my hero, he found these guys here. These are, that guy's gonna get you with his thing. And this guy's got a rock. These are Mark's Toys. I always keep your eye out for anything that is Mark's Toys, which is M-A-R-X. There's actually one more of these, but I dropped him and I don't wanna go hunting for him. So imagine four of these. Now Mark's Toys, they they always, they just always do well for me. Um, so whenever I see them, I just pick them up. And I was only charged $2.50 for four of these cavemen. Uh, I really feel like they're gonna do well for me. Um, looks like there's a, a comp, a pretty similar, they're the same guys, but they're not painted. Like they don't have black hair or their little um, loin cloths. Uh, they're just all flesh colored, which I thought was kind of strange. Uh, so I'm not quite sure if mine are more valuable because they have painting or maybe they are less valuable because they have painting. So I will be trying to figure that out in the next week here. Uh, but a set of four of them did recently sell for $40. So there's nothing wrong with that at all. I'm excited about these guys. And the same sale, I did get, I got another mystery box. And it is full of old mid-century plastic dollhouse furniture. Look how cute that is. And when I was looking at them there at the sale, you guessed it, they are Marks, M-A-R-X. So 
I said, well, I'm going to get this box and see, see what I can do with it. Uh, there is another brand mixed in there that's called Pyro. And I haven't looked at everything yet, of course, so there could also be another brand in there. So I think I will separate them by brand and just do like, here's all the marks, here's all the pyro, and then whatever other brand that I find. Uh, lots of dollhouse furniture have been going anywhere from $20 to $50 and then even higher if you have something rare. So that'll be a fun one to go through as well and really see what exactly I have. And then we went to another one that, uh, oh yeah, this one really didn't have anything at all for me, but I went into the kitchen and you know, I love selling flatware. Ugh. And I found this giant pile of stainless steel flatware and it is the brand Henkel's. Uh, you're probably familiar with them. They make really great knives. Uh, they make pots and pans, flatware, all, all, anything you need for the kitchen probably. But this, um, it is 89 pieces. It, it, the style is called Jessica, and I paid um, just $25 for it. So with that amount of pieces in there, um, I think I can probably shoot for like $125, maybe a little higher. Uh, recently, just a pile of eight forks alone sold for $45, and eight spoons sold for $33. So that gives me high hopes for these. I'm gonna set them down because they're heavy, and hopefully, yeah, I can just sell the whole shebang and make some good money on that. And the last thing we're going to talk about is um, the clothing section of this piece here. Uh, this, you may have heard of this brand. It is called Kari Tra. Uh, it's, it's just double A, so I'm thinking it's Tra uh, with a, I, I don't know, I guess you would call her Kari Tray, but I think it's Kari Tra. Here is what the tag looks like and the logo. This is a wool base layer piece, which of course, Anything really that's 100% wool and it's the base layer and it's active wear. These come from Norway and their whole shtick is about uh, women for women. It was a woman um, Olympic athlete that started the company and I like that about it. Uh, this house where the yard sale was, the lady used to work for Kari Tra and she raved about the company and just loved everything about it, which I should have asked her, well then why did you quit? But whatever, she's got her life. <laughs> she knows what she's doing. But I ended up getting seven pieces of brand new with tags, Kari Tra. There are shirts, a skirt, there's even a little dicky piece. Um, but she only wanted a dollar a piece, so I will definitely give that a shot. I'm excited about those. And then the final clothing item that we have here, you'll see a bunch of shirts hanging. What these are, this is a vintage Banana Republic, 100% cotton. Uh, sometimes they call these their safari shirts if they do have the epaulettes on them. Um, it has the old the old tag. I don't know if you can see it, if I can get it to you. There we go. Old 100% cotton Banana Republic stuff really does pretty well. This estate sale, they wanted $5 a piece for the shirts. Um, they did actually, they, they were saying $5 for the button down shirts. And I don't know if you know this, this is your hot tip for the day, but a button down shirt is when the collar has those little tiny buttons and the collar buttons down to the shirt. This does not have that. So this is actually a button up shirt. So great for your keywords when you're putting that, put it in your title, button up or button down if they have that feature. Okay. So these, I paid $5 each for them and I can probably get in the $30 range for each shirt, which is a great, um, some of them that have a little bit more detail, they can go up to like 40, maybe even higher than that. I'll have to research each style as I get them listed. So there's your hot tip on the button down situation. It's actually one of those things for me and somebody says, this is a button down shirt. I'm like, no, it's not. But we all have our things. So that is it for my weekend of sourcing. Uh, I hope you got out there and I hope you found some great things and let's get them listed. Let's make some money. So I will see you next time and maybe I'll be reporting in on finding that horse in this treasure box here from Japan. Thanks for watching so much and I'll see you next time.